Welcome to your second day of Math Online with Mr. Grieb and I. Thanks, Grade Eights, for being so supportive and receptive yesterday when we ran with the class notebook. I know it's different for you all, but you've done a wonderful job just like being patient with us as we figure things out. Please know that if you are having trouble with anything, Mr. Grieve and I are available during office hours Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 11.45 a.m. on Teams to help you troubleshoot whatever you need. Today's lesson, we're going back a little bit to 5.1. It's titled Views of Three-Dimensional Objects. And in this section, we are going to label and draw different views of objects, which you might find in your house, or they might be using something known as isometric dot paper. So to begin, we've got a few different examples of everyday things. We've got a motorcycle, a car, and these purple shoes. As you can see, there are different views. There is a side view, a front view, and a top view. And when we look at 3D objects from different views, we are going to be able to see different things. Here are two examples. These are two uh, objects that we'd like for you to try and draw the views for on a piece of paper, not on your laptop. So if you have your notebook or you have just a piece of loose leaf, I want you to try and draw the front, top, and side views for the tissue Kleenex box and the CD case. If you're working on this right now, you can pause this video because on the next slide, I'm gonna show you the answers. I want you to give it a try before you watch the answers, please. Here are the answers for the drawings of the top, front, and side for the Kleenex box and the CD-ROM. How did you do? You'll notice that for the Kleenex box, the top, front, and side are all different, as are the top, front, and side for the CD-ROM. Here is an example of what a Unicube or Unicube would look like as a photograph or on isometric dot paper. So isometric dot paper is a piece of paper with a bunch of dots that allow you to draw three-dimensional objects pretty easily. If we look at the first, just a single unit cube by itself, it's been drawn kind of at an angle on this piece of isometric dot paper. This middle example is a five cube 3D object that I made. I tried drawing it on my laptop um, using Microsoft Paint and it worked really, really well. I can imagine that you could try drawing this on your class notebook. We've put in a piece of isometric dot paper and if you have your pen, you can try and draw it. If you don't have your pen, that's okay. Try drawing it with your, cur your mouse cursor or even selecting a pen and then using your finger to try and draw the different shapes. I would suggest starting by drawing one cube and then adding onto it. Okay, you'll notice that the shapes are drawn at an angle so that you can see the different dimensions. This is just a little guide on how to start drawing a one cube shape. Notice over on the right here, start by drawing a box and then draw a line connecting each of the vertices. We're going to post a YouTube video that someone created to show how you can draw um, shapes that are a little bit bigger. They're using Microsoft Paint, but you could follow along just on your notebook. Class notebook, I guess. For this example, you're going to need a sheet of loose leaf paper or notebook that you can draw in. We're not going to be drawing a 3D object this time. Rather, we want you to figure out what the top, front, and side views would look for this object if you were to draw it um, just like we did the Kleenex box or the CD-ROM case. You can pause this video now if you're trying this out. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you. We would like for you to pause this video when I'm done explaining, and we want you to try and sketch the 3D object of what this shape would look like. You are going to use your laptop and some isometric dot paper. We've been given three views, the top, front, and side, and we want you to try and figure out what the 10 blocks would look like as a 3D object. I have the answer in another couple slides. At this time, you can pause and try and draw the shape. This isometric dot paper is on your class notebook for you to try and doodle on. 
Okay, here is what the answer looks like. We're hoping that you drew something that looks like this. It has 10 different blocks and it is kind of like a staircase. If you weren't able to draw that, if yours looks different, that's okay. I want you to pause this slide and see if you can recreate this image. Okay, so yesterday we had you complete 5.1 and 5.2 worksheets on your notebook. We've got another set of exercises for you to do today. We would like for you to try your best to answer these right in your class notebook. And if that's not working for you, you're welcome to try and draw them on a sheet of paper. We're trying to see how much feedback we can give you if you are able to complete your assignments right in that class notebook. So there's two different pages, questions one, two, and three, and we wish you luck as you're trying to complete them. Yesterday we had some students ask if there were more questions that they could work on after they completed the assignment in their class notebook. So we've added in some textbook questions from chapter 5 that cover the same content. So you could work on these in your math notebook or on a sheet of paper if you wanted to do some more practice. Let us know if you have any questions during our office hours today, grade 8s, and we look forward to hearing from you. Take care!